Hey everyone, I made a video called Who Runs Freemasonry and I proved it using their own symbols, alright? And that drew the attention and the ire and the evil of a Freemason and he came over onto my channel and started commenting on my video saying that I'm completely loopy and whatever you're smoking you got your money's worth which is rude and insulting. So I thought they taught you Freemasons to be gentlemen, or that's what you claim, but you didn't behave that way. You didn't like the truth that I showed. And uh, then I really called out this creep because he really started to get insulting. And uh, I basically didn't accuse him personally, but I accused Freemasons of being into that stuff, which is true. They do lie down naked in a coffin and they have to confess and do all this stuff, and it's not just the skull and bones. It, it's Freemasonry too. That happens in the Freemason lodges all across America, all across Canada, all across U UK and Australia, okay? That's the way it works. France, it's all over the place. Probably works that way at Freemason lodges in Africa, in African countries. It's all over. That's what they do, and then they blackmail you. They record all of that, and they can use that against you to blackmail you. So that's how they run things. They take vows and uh, they vow to harm themselves, to cut out their tongues and do all this stuff. So they lie all the time. They basically, Freemasons are basically trained liars. So that goof thought he could come on my channel and dish it out and didn't think it was coming back. And he doesn't like the fact that I expose what they are. He doesn't like that. He's a creepy boy. He's a creepy boy. He's a big, ugly, stinky, Freemasonic, creepy boy. And, uh, you know, if you had nothing to hide, why are, you see why are you involved in a secret society for 20 years? Huh? So they filter them out. They filter out just the psychopaths to get the honorary 33rd degree. It's not just in Scottish right. And it goes above 33 degrees, okay? Some speculate it goes all the way up to 360 degrees, like a full circle. All right, so anyway, uh, that's how it works. They are trained to lie. They take vows every degree all the way up the ladder. They're lied to, and they take vows never to reveal the secrets. Less terrible tortures happen to them and their loved ones. So we're aware of this stuff. We're aware of the vows they take, the vows do have meaning, the rituals do have meaning, they do take it seriously, and they only get offended when the truth comes out, and they end up on a channel like mine, and uh, I've had Freemasons come, I won't say come after me, but come onto my, when I had Facebook, they would go onto my Facebook page when I would post about Freemasons, and they couldn't take it there either. They can't take it. They can dish out this evil, but they can't take it. And I'll continue to expose them, I will continue to expose all evil that I that I can and that I have the time and the energy to do. I can't expose every single individual in this realm because I don't have a million hours a day and that's how much there is, okay? So for the people that are still I don't know if I don't know if I'd say new but they're just naive, I guess. They're just they're, they're they can't believe there's so much evil in this realm. They're getting a real eye opener here on my channel. And I wouldn't call it an education. Some people have said, thank you for educating me. To be honest, when I, the word education has been so tainted that I almost throw up. Like when I think of education, kindergarten, first grade, all the way through high school, it's just terrible what they do. It was bad enough when I was a kid, but it's just, it's demonic what they're doing to children these days. It should not only be stopped, but they should be prosecuted, Okay. There should be some justice, which there isn't in this realm, which shows you a lot about this realm, by the way. If you just want to look at that, just look at the lack of real justice here. Evil gets away with everything. They run wild here. So I realize that some people are just having their eyes pried open to how much evil there is, and they're seeing some things firsthand, like those comments by an evil Freemason that came to my channel. So maybe some of you are saying, yeah, maybe demons do, do go after this guy. Maybe he, is, maybe he is telling some truth here because they're coming after him 
in real life, you know, in dreams, in the astral, on YouTube, wherever. And you know what? I, I know I've kind of joked about it in the past and used the poet Bukowski, the alcoholic poet that was just, you know, he was kind of a, he was kind of a dirty old man, to be honest, but he was amusing where he said, one more beer and I'll take you all on. And there was a crowd of people, hundreds of people. And I said, I relate to that. I feel like that sometimes. I'm not a drunk. I'm not a drinker. I haven't had a glass of anything in a while now. And uh, I really don't drink that often. But I don't even require alcohol to have that kind of madness. I don't require drugs. I don't require cocaine or pills or whatever. I just don't need it. I'm shit, man. I'm a natural born madman. You know what I'm saying? That's what I am. So that's, that's playing on something that a character in a, in a, uh, <laughs> Mickey from natural born killers. Let's put it that way. He said, shit, man, I'm a natural born killer. Well, shit, man, I'm a natural born madman. My madness is natural. I don't take anything for this. And you can't go to your doctor and say, I want a prescription because I want to become like that. You can't get this. You can't buy this. You can't take drugs to get this way. So am I hyping it up? Am I saying it's, it's special? Well, it's the complete opposite of sanity. It's the complete opposite of what you see out your window or out in the street when you walk out there and you see these fucking zombies. I'm not like that at all. Okay? I don't know what they have running through their veins, what kind of blood it is, but I have fire in my veins. Do you understand this? I don't know if you do. I don't know if anyone does, but that's what I have. So I have a very different mind, a very different mindset, a very different view of this realm and what should be done here. I have a different view when it comes to evil. I can see demons. I know that demons come after me, demonic creatures. I'm not afraid of them like most people on this earth are. I'm not afraid of them, all right? And uh, they know I'm coming after them. That's what they know. So that, that old bullshit saying, oh, there's strength in numbers. Bring it on. Bring your legions and your armies. I'm not afraid of you because I know what I am. And I'm not just a, quote, human being. I've known this since childhood. Since, since I was a toddler, I thought, you know what? I'm not like these people. I'm from somewhere else. I'm not from here. This is not my home. I'm not from here. I don't have a silver cord tying me here or an acre, an anchor, sorry. I'm not tied to this realm. I'm not attached to this place. I don't care what experiences there are here, sensations. I'm not tied to the body or this realm. I'm not fucking from here. This is an evil realm. I'm showing people what it is that have perhaps gone their entire life without being able to see the evil that's all around them. And I'm showing it to you. I'm not only showing it to you, I'm taking them on too. I'm doing both. I'm doing double duty. I'm saying, here, look at this. With one hand, I'm showing you something. My left hand and my right hand, I'm squeezing, you know, a demon. All right? And I'm fighting them off. I'm not boasting. That's actually what I'm doing. Okay? That's actually what I'm doing. And uh, that's where I want you to be at. I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be afraid of demons. I don't want you to be afraid of, quote, dying um, and what the afterlife, what archons and entities and, you know, I call them entities to mock them. I do mock them. And some people want they're scratching their heads. Why would you mock them? Because that disempowers them. It takes part of their power away to say, hey, you're just a bunch of fucking clowns, you know? Think about it. Think about it. Think about mocking them instead of being afraid of them. Think about, laugh think about laughing at them, all right? I know my mind is racing right now, and it's, you know, it's well after midnight. It's in the a.m., which is the time that I tend to have energy and think in the darkness. Ooh, the darkness. You, that's bad because Hollywood taught you it's bad, and TV and all these stories they told you. No, I get energy from that. I don't think it's bad at all. I don't think it's bad at all. And that one NDE of the woman that, uh, I can't remember her name, people told me her name, Lada something, I, think, I believe it was L-A-U-D-A, I'm bad with remembering names, 
but the one that I covered where she talked about this being a deception and quote God being a machine and all this stuff. Look at the name of my channel, Sanity Machine. We're in a fucking machine, basically, system. It's artificial, it's not natural. And that's the basis of my poem. It's the title, it's the title, my channel is named after the title of one of my poems that I wrote 10, 12, 13 years ago. Something like that. It's been a while. So I was thinking about this stuff back then. Okay? Do you understand that? I'm not saying it to be you know, hype myself up, but when you're talking about 2010 and earlier, this is what I was thinking about. And I was actually thinking about leaving this realm as a child. I even contemplated leaving this realm, if you get what I'm saying. As a child, I didn't like this place. I saw, I saw a lot of it for what it is. I didn't have the knowledge to fully understand where I was, but I knew I wasn't from here. So this is where some people get hung up. Well, you didn't know what it was. No, but I knew it was bad. Okay? See what I'm saying? It's like walking into a room that's full of murderers, and you don't know what they are. You don't know they're murderers. You don't have the rap sheet. You've never seen them before, but you can feel it, the energy. You just know, fuck, they're, they, they're, I'm in a company of bad people. I don't know exactly what they are, but they feel like monsters. You get what I'm saying? So I'm an intuitive being, a highly intuitive being. I'm an INFP. And uh, actually they did, <laughs> I don't know if I should go into this, but I had, a, I had scans done on my brain many, a lot, like a long time ago, many years ago. And I had um, an EEG, not an EKG, but an EEG where they put the electrodes on your skull with that sticky stuff and it's just it's fucking you know it's uh it's a hassle to get those off and get them out of your hair and you know all that stuff but I, and they flash these strobe lights and and I could see visions and I wrote poetry in my mind as I was going through those tests and the tech for that test said we're not supposed to tell anybody but I heard him go ooh like at one point I heard him make a sound during it and they're not supposed to react to influence the results. And he was just an EEG tech. I don't think he was a doctor, but he said, you have to wait to talk to your doctor to get the results from this. But he said he had never seen in like 15 or 20 years or whatever it was, something like that. He wasn't just a newbie. He didn't just start on the job. He had never seen certain, certain alpha wave activity um, I think it was alpha and beta, something like wave like that. Activity like mine. It was very unusual. And at a very high level. So you can say, and, and, I, and I thanked him for that. Because I said, I don't even know if my doctor will tell me that. I don't trust doctors. I never have. But I had something going on. And I got that tested. So yeah, my brain, I have unusual brain waves and brain activity. I truly do. And I can see visions without strobe lights and, and stuff flashing in my face. And I can hear music sometimes. I don't write music. Um, I'm not literate when it comes to reading music. I've never played a musical instrument. I've always had the feeling that, that I could just pick up something like piano or keyboards and just, I, I don't say learn how to play in a day, but I think I could pick it up pretty quickly. Just have that feeling. And I can hear music. Sometimes I can hear music playing in my mind. And I have an imagination. I, I imagine things and I can tell the difference between imagination, what I imagine, and reality. I'm not delusional. I don't think that, oh, I'm imagining this and it's happening or get things confused. But I daydream a lot. I imagine a lot. I see a lot. As I've said before in one video, um, as a child, I could watch cartoons without a television. So my sister would say, what are you doing? She just couldn't believe it when I would say, I'm watching cartoons. And she'd be like, but, you know, Stephen, you, you don't have a TV in your room. And I said, I, I said to her, just matter of factly, I wasn't joking. I wasn't quote, quote, trolling. Like the fools try to label things, everything these days. I was being honest. 
telling the truth. I don't need a television. I don't need TV to watch cartoons. Well, which are you sure you're not remembering cartoons? Like you're not watching, you know, um, Tom and Jerry or uh, Mighty Mouse or Roadrunner or whatever the case may be. It could have been anything. The Flintstones, you know, TV cartoons, Bugs Bunny. I said, no, I'm inventing my own. I'm imagining my own and, and basically writing my own in my head and seeing them. So I realize that's a bit trippy and freaky to tell your little sister that when she's like six, you know, five, six years old or something. And she's like looking at me like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, what are you talking about? But it's funny to me, because, but it's true. That's what I was doing. So I was honest when she said, when she asked me, what are you doing? just laying on my bed, you know, and she just thought I was zoned out or spaced out. And no, I'm watching cartoons. I'm wa I'm literally watching cartoons. Can I still do that? Yeah, I can still do that. Could I watch a TV show that doesn't exist in my mind? Just invent it and go as it go as it goes along the characters, the plot, the dialogue, everything. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. That might sound incredible, it might sound like a bold claim, it might sound insane. I'm fine with that. So the people in this, quote, truth community that are afraid of people viewing them as insane, when that idiot, you know, that uh, cupcake made that video saying the insanity machine and saying I'm insane, and then Lion Sword saying I'm insane, you're complimenting me, you fools. <laughs> that compliments me. I've never wanted to be sane like you fucking followers, you know? Join the Freemasons. You'd fit right in. You have a hive mind mentality. You're followers. You can follow along. You can put the aprons on and do the stupid rituals and roll your pant leg up and put on the blindfold and do all the shit. Go lay in, naked in the coffin and everything. You know? I don't have a hive mind. You know, the Borg and that type of stuff sickens me. Disgusts me. I don't like sameness. I've never liked sameness. So in this realm, you want unusual, you want eccentric and uh, someone that's idiosyncratic, that's different, that's peculiar, peculiar. I have trouble with that word, that's strange, that's just uh, crazy, that's a madman, that's insane, okay? A level in, of insanity that... You know, madness is, is related with, I, I shouldn't go in, it's just going to sound like boasting. And it just, to regular people, that's what it sounds like. Even to quote truthers, it just sounds like, oh, he's boasting. But I don't have an average IQ. Let's put it that way. I don't have an average mind. I don't have a mediocre mind. I don't like mediocre people. I want excellence. That's what I want around me. Do you know how difficult that is to find? in this realm, in person, you might as well be a recluse because it's just almost impossible, you know? I'm not boasting. It's just the way it is. It's hard. It's not fun. It's rarely fun. I mean, I make my own fun, obviously. You can hear me laughing in videos and stuff. Sometimes I crack myself up and I can't stop laughing. I almost, you know, it's just, it's almost like that uncontrollable laughter where it's just, it's, uh, it's funny, but it just keeps rolling and it just keeps going. So it's like an avalanche of laughter rolling down a mountainside. And that's uh, the way it is. So when it comes to creativity, I don't need other people. That might sound, I don't know how that sounds to you, but it's just true. So I'm very blunt. I try to be very honest. I say things knowing that I can say things knowing that the majority of people are either not going to get it, not going to like it, going to think, hey, he's egotistical, he's arrogant, he can't back it up. But I keep backing up my claims on my channel. And it keeps opening eyes and people are just, they've, they've, many people have told me they're getting a real eye opener here. And they need that. Okay, that's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to say the same shit that everyone else is. So that you're just, oh, oh God, you know, I... Just one little, one little droplet of truth in in twenty minutes. I don't want that. It's a waste of it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of my time. 
All right? I want to drop truth fucking bombs. I think that nuclear weapons are a psyop. I looked into them. I questioned them as a child, the footage. It looked like those trees from train sets. It looked fucking fake. It looked staged. The cameras are indestructible. I may end up making a video of a half hour, hour, however long it takes to fully debunk that, but, but it's fucking fake. I don't believe in ICBMs that can travel from here and Canada through space all the way to Russia. They don't have the fuel to go that far. I don't think they have the fuel to travel across this country from coast to coast just across Canada. I don't believe that. I've never seen any evidence that they do, okay? It's a big country, and I've never seen evidence that one of those missiles can travel from the east to the west or the west to the east. Across coast to coast. Coast to coast, in, as they used to say in hockey, watching, you know, hockey night in Canada. Coast to coast. Old memories, watching hockey as a kid. Believe me, I, I haven't watched sports and been into that for a long, long time. You know, a long time. We're talking decades. I haven't been a real sports fan or addict. I got, I got out of that a long time ago. But um, growing up as a kid in Canada, candy ass land, you're going to watch your fair share of hockey games and you're going to play some hockey. You're going to get on a rink or a frozen river, frozen lake, or you're going to play some road hockey or hockey, you know, with a tennis ball or those orange balls that would sting that are plastic and they're just hard as fuck. You get stung by those. You take one of those to the face and it stings. Believe me, it stings. But um, cross-checked with hockey sticks and, the, you know, playing with your friends or your cousins and your, your shins are all hacked to shit and you can... You're walking into the house afterwards of the game, and you, it's like you came out of a, a fucking war, basically a war zone, where we got really rough with each other. We'd elbow and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you, kids can roughhouse, you know, little boys, and that's what would happen. And uh, sometimes we'd end up carrying one of the people, one of our, one of the players, into the house because they'd be limping so fucking bad. I mean, it, it, it could get pretty rough with slashing shins and cross-checking and break somebody's hockey stick across their back and you name it. I mean, we, we would get rough and uh, that's the way it goes. But that toughens you up a little bit. So toughen up a little bit, cupcake. Maybe that cupcake that made that video on me uh, earlier, the organic wine and cannabis. Maybe he should toughen up a little bit. But um, I don't think that's going to happen with with that creature but anyway i'm ranting in this one so i hope you're enjoying this people my people so i don't have a, a normal mind i don't want a normal mind i'd never wanted a nor i never wanted to be normal i never wanted to fit in i always just wanted to be me and be authentic to who i am be my own being and have my own art and my own mind and my own spirit my own imagination and I will have my own kingdom once I leave here. So what does that mean? Does that mean I'm going to have servants and slaves? No, not at all. Not at all. I might be alone. I don't want to be a total recluse or, you know, like that Huey creepy boy that just wants to seal himself off in a black void. I'm not going to do that, but I do need a break from humanity. I mean, you're, you're, <laughs> humans are fucking draining, man. They just are. They really are. They just, uh, they will just drain you out of everything, everything you have. And I don't want that. I don't know how I ended up here, but I kind of uh, suspect that I was captured or something somehow. And that this may be my first lifetime here rather than the, what's preached, which is usually wrong. On most things. Most things that are preached in this realm end up being wrong. So the whole, oh, we might have been here for tens of thousands of lifetimes. Well, I might be part of the first-timers club. This might be my first life, because I kind of knew right away that, hey, this is all wrong. So anyway, I'm going to end this video soon. And that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to expose that Freemason. And I'm not shocked that that happened. 
because that's what they do, and they're trained liars. And uh, I see them for what they are. I'll continue to expose them. They don't scare me. Um, them coming to my channel and saying stupid shit. They try to dish it out, but they sure can't take it when it comes back. They can't fucking take it, can they? So there you go. There's that. Take care, everyone.